Hey everyone, this is DTA here, back with another video. I know it's been a while, and today we're actually going to be going back to actual farming instead of uh, my mess around videos. So, uh, we're back here on Welkers. Uh, this is my own version of it. Uh, yeah, nice little house. Um, we just took a lunch break. We are going to be doing some uh, corn harvesting, and then uh, kind of, if we have time after that, uh, show you guys around the farm. So, uh, hold up, I wanna... Alright, that's good. So, uh, yeah, we'll hop in the diesel and, uh, take a cruise down to the harvester and, uh, get this day going. And, uh, yeah, we get the old guy in the side-by-side -side in there. And, uh, hoping you guys have been doing pretty good. Um... I myself have been doing pretty good as well. I uh, just been doing it day by day and uh, just taking it easy. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, now that I have my son, uh, things have been really good. Slowly going back to work full time, so that's going to be awesome to be back uh, full time uh, this upcoming season since uh, winter is passing. So yeah, we're uh, pulling up to the harvester and everything right now. And uh, I got a project coming up um, for the farm during uh, springtime or like winter. Uh, we need to get this herbicide tank or this uh, liquid fertilizer tank filled up. And then uh, this is my new project in here. Um, I have this is going to be dedicated strictly to uh, seed because um, I kind of took a new leap of things. We're not doing any uh, uh, easy fill silos. We're going to be doing um, the pallets of seed. And I got the this amazing mod in here, um, the foldable, replaceable uh, shelf sto uh, storage where it just like folds into a pallet and you just bring it in here. Uh, press X for for me it's X on console uh, f or for <laughs> Xbox for uh, PlayStation it'll be square and like you're getting into a vehicle um, and yeah you just unfold it and it pops right in and it fits perfectly in this shed and I'm really happy and I want to be uh, grabbing some more so that'll be a future project uh, for the farm uh, we're currently sitting at 1.5 mil um, it might be a little steep only only why I haven't changed it from there because I'm uh, I've been bailing uh, that shed's full of grass square bales I'm uh, not doing square bales anymore I'm doing round bales because uh, I want to step out of my comfort zone and be uh, doing round bales so round bales it is and uh got two cattle pastures down the road um and hopefully next spring uh we hopefully begin some cattle so yeah the take on this map is just like one of my projects i've been working on it's uh basically a small uh midwestern or small modern midwestern map we got some modern machinery but not a lot of it it's very restricted uh, but I hope you guys like it, and, uh, yeah, long story short, let's get, uh, harvesting going. I've been waiting to do, do this for a while. I've been, uh, going back to maps, like, left and right. Uh, my apologies, I know I haven't had a real video in quite a while. We haven't been doing, uh, that much stuff recently, so I wanted, uh, cut into one of my uh, maps and uh, bring this to you guys because I miss it dearly I can't I don't know my re retention span recently uh, for farm sim has gone out the window but uh, I wanted to bring it back and uh, bring you guys some content because it's been a while and I know I just been like dropping like not good videos in my eyes so yeah we'll get this puppy going it's 
Yeah. Um, and uh, we are currently in the 8240 uh, Case IH Axle Flow Combine with the 9 meter header on a short, short folding pipe. Uh, or short folding auger because uh, I kind of wanted to keep it realistically this is our also our only combine we'll be running um, yeah so our farm only has one combine um, and this is it it's I wanted to keep it what uh, is around my area which is I mean I've only seen one eighty two forty. usually it's kind of a little smaller but the fields are massive and I give those farmers a lot of credit for like the a little bit smaller machinery and everything. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh but yeah, um yeah, I kinda wanted to keep it decent size, not too big. I know we're sitting on one five or one point five, but that's that should be good in the upcoming. Um plus all that seed and everything will here yeah, we'll shoot some uh video er, clips from like right here and I am manually driving this so and uh, we got the I believe it's the mm, uh, New Holland T9 big frame on the auger wagon for the Elmers that's a uh, second option I believe for the uh, how big you want it and I decided well these fields are f pretty big here at Welkers so I went with the medium grade Elmers and uh, currently hauling it with the T9 big frame so I really like the New Holland uh, we currently yeah I was gonna go with the uh, the Steiger but come on I mean New Holland I mean the T9s do look pretty good with the some wheel configurations like the big fat wheels and tires um, so I went with that uh, <clears throat> this is a CNH farm of Case New Holland farm. Um, yeah, that's my favorite brand, uh, favorite machinery to see out in the fields, and yeah. So you won't, I won't be having any uh, John Deere or anything. Uh, so it's just gonna be Case uh, or Case New Holland here. Uh, yeah, so. That's about it for like the description on things. Um, yeah. Then we got a couple projects, like I said, be transporting in a liquid fertilizer in the spring, um, so it doesn't uh, ice over in this winter up and coming. And uh, it is currently. Ooh, let's check the schedule real fast. Yeah, we're currently in the middle of the harvest season. Actually, more on the end of the harvest season. Um, so today is Monday in game. We're good for that. Tuesday, looks like it's just overcasty like it is today. And then uh, later on, uh, it comes sunny. And then Wednesday, what, uh, some clouds. Thursday, some clouds. On Friday and Saturday, I'm hoping to be done with harvesting and it looks Friday looks like rain and Saturday looks like snow so I'm really hoping we can get this harvest done we got uh hold on speaking of that I'm gonna change forgot to change that back on um yes right now we have fields uh we have a little bit of soybeans on five between the neighbor's farm and our farm so it's like nothing much so we got uh, what's planted with corn right now is this field number four and number six is planting with corn uh, three is grass uh, two I took out the old farm and we rebuilt on field five number two is just all it's just one big field now there's no that grass area right there that's all gone and number nine is sitting um uh what's what's that word hold on i'm sorry <laughs> my apologies uh yeah okay so this is not uh, my exact plan right now i will be following this corn soybeans and then fallow uh so field 
number nine is currently fallow at the moment. So I'm just going to let that sit for this season. And then uh, next spring we'll be hitting that field with some corn and uh, rotate out the crops to produce, um, to increase the yield on it. Um, so for field, well this field four, and then uh, six next season, that will be soybeans. And then the following season, that will be fallow. Or actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's correct. Wait, is it? No, I think there's... Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. Yeah, okay, so... Corn, soybeans, okay, yeah. Yeah, so... Next season, it'll be uh, soybeans. Um, So, yeah, that's the game plan. It's just been... uh, Let's see how this goes. I'm really excited. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. I don't know. Yeah, I'm mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, big shout out to uh, for those who have been watching me. Um, here, let me check him. Let me. I'm just gonna hire a worker for this. I want to go on my mobile device and check this out real fast. Okay, uh, for I want I want to try to figure out how to put it down in the description, but um, he is a new up and comer uh, council uh, farming simulator creator or video creator, or like a YouTuber. There we go, YouTuber. Um, go check him out. Um, I'll try to put his uh, link or channel in this in the description. His name is Hades. Uh, he currently has like. Uh, 10 or 11 subscribers that I know of, I think, still. Uh, so, yeah, I want to give him a shout-out. And uh, I just want to thank Shredhead Gaming uh, for kind of getting me in its uh, Discord community uh, for console creators. Um, if you guys have any... If you guys are watching my videos and have any uh, questions or concerns about that, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to do that or give you information. Because it's uh, free to anyone. Like anyone can join and help uh, get uh, get their foot in the door, like myself. Uh, we are currently full. I'll stop messing with my phone. Uh, we'll hop in the truck. Sweet. Yeah. So that's uh, we're in the T9 700 big frame. Hop in this bad boy. So yeah, we get uh, cruising down to uh, Big Red down there, um, <clears throat> and I also want to do one more shout out uh, for those who play uh, Fallout and everything. Uh, my fiance is currently making her uh, channel, and uh, if she's doing like a like a basically walk through like quests and everything. And if you guys are interested in that. Uh, she hasn't uploaded any videos yet, but it probably will be in the next couple of days. So if you guys are into Fallout or anything, um, I'll try to figure out how to put her channel in the description. And yeah, just uh, yeah, get the get everything going good. I'm gonna get her out there as well. And I just want to say thank you guys for the 81 subscribers. Like, this is unreal. I didn't even think I could get past, like, 10, to be honest. Um, and just, like, thank you guys for, like, all your love and support. And I love uh, talking to you guys in the comments. It's been really awesome, like, uh, actually getting to know you guys, like, on a personal level. Um, even though, uh, internet, I mean... <laughs> But it's really awesome to like, hear from you guys like that. And, uh, yeah, it's just really cool to talk to you guys and, yeah, grow, grow as one. I mean, you guys are helping me, like, grow and uh, put my stuff out there. And, yeah, just thank you for that. Uh, and uh, my apologies, I haven't been making good content recently. I've kind of like cringed at my last video, the moving day. Oh, it's just bad. It's, I don't know, I kind of had a uh, little bit of bad vibes in there. 
and I just want to keep everything like good flowing, you know, um, keeping the stuff you guys want to watch. And yeah, I just want to be bringing this uh, good farm into you guys. Oh, get out of his way. Let him do him. We could go. Uh, while we have time, go unload this real quick in the, in the truck. <clears throat> yeah, and, um, yeah, and, uh, another up and coming uh, series I can't wait is uh, to get hands on Stone Valley. Once Lancy Boy's done with that, oh my gosh, I'm really excited for that. That's going to be my number one. Um, we'll continue with Welkers because I like the small details, like the the corn leftovers like look at this like <laughs> it's like actual real cornfield after harvest um so yeah that's gonna be probably the main let's play uh we're gonna be doing here on uh welkers um but yeah that's about it and uh once uh uh kinda game plan keep on talking uh, so we're gonna get the shelving finished at a uh, shed that was uh, for the sh uh, seed shed. Uh, we're gonna begin the shelving during winter. Um, we'll cruise up to the shop and uh, get that and uh, install it and uh, get that all sorted. And then we're gonna be doing some uh, plowing. I know uh, maybe some municipal work. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing that, um, what else can we get our hands into, uh, yeah, so we're going to be getting, uh, shelving, we'll wait for the seeds and the fertilizer until basically when it starts not freezing, oh, my bad. So, um, well, yeah, we'll get that going, and then, um, yeah, I'll get some, hopefully get some cattle, uh, in the spring as well, um, let me, let me know, guys, like, I'm being serious, is 1.5 mil too much, because I kind of want to do, I mean, yeah, we got modern equipment and everything, and, uh, I just want to make sure, like, this is all right and not too much for you guys because I know some people don't like all the big machinery all at once I mean I have been working on this uh, mat for some time now and uh, kinda made it like what I like my home what I see around in uh, in Illinois and know uh, what's right down the street for me I kinda like merged all the farms I see into one farm and just made it like this and uh all the machinery is what is down my road you know um so let me let me know if i'm overdoing it i i'm basically being self-efficient right now uh with the new missy b mods wonderful um i i really wish uh uh there is a gas trigger in here because i don't see any i really wish there was because i had that uh the refillable uh, uh, fuel fuel uh, blah, blah, blah. fuel tank. You know what? Uh, since he's doing his thing down there, we'll just uh, go unload this real fast. So, hold on. I want to ah it's safe. I want to turn it down a little bit because it seems a little too loud. I know it's there we go, because I know my uh, the mic I use and uh, I know my voice in the past videos has been quiet, so I want to stay away from that. Uh, just threw up through the grass, <laughs> but yeah, this is the the main uh, thing at the farm. Uh, we got uh, this placeable silo. I thought I really like how this setup is actually have like all the grain links 
grain legs and uh, augers connecting to each other. And da -da -da. Ah, shoot. There we go. Well, yeah, get this unloaded quick and then headed back to the New Holland. We still got time. But I'm really hoping uh, you guys are doing really well out there uh, managing your farms. I'm really hoping that's uh, coming, doing good for you guys. Uh, and uh, just the way you guys want it. Uh, really hoping to see some more U.S. stuff out there. I mean. Or not just U.S. stuff, but more like, I don't know, tractors and maybe another pickup truck here or there. Yeah. And I uh, I created a Facebook page. If you guys want to check it out, I'll try to I'll try to f uh, figure a way how to put it in all in the description for you guys. Like, what uh, is new that I have made? I made a new Facebook channel. Uh, go check me out. It's uh, DTA Gaming. Uh, you can add me as a friend, and I also made a business channel uh, for DTA Gaming. So, yeah, if definitely check that guy, check that out, you guys. I mean, I I just go in there to get like news and insight of what's going on in the farming sim community. But uh, uh, you guys can feel free to like and. Uh, while I'm at work or something, um, I can take screenshots of like the new updates and uh, mods. Since I'm like, I always check 9:30 my time is like when they're like uh, when they're always up. So I'll uh, I'll check that out for sure. Um, see if you guys what you guys want to do. And uh, yeah, and uh, actually that'll be pretty awesome because I can get your guys' input of. Uh, like what you guys want to see in upcoming videos and uh we can just like chat back and forth uh which kind of stinks for um youtube i really wish i can post but you have to have up to a thousand subscribers so i i really want to get there someday i highly doubt i will see that and eventually or i i don't know <laughs> i mean it's uh it could happen because I mean I never thought I'd be at almost a hundred subscribers. So, yeah, I'm, uh, if that happens, we can I can uh, post or do a poll on whatever. So yeah, um, yeah. So I'll leave uh, that in the description. I'll find a way to make like the links like blue and clickable and stuff. Uh, because I'm kind of clueless when it comes to that still. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll get that uh, um, done for you guys. So, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, and no, just, I'm really glad to see Lancey Boy back. That is, that is awesome. Um, and, uh, it was kind of, re it was, this was really cool. Like, I screenshotted this and everything because I thought it was awesome. Um, I was watching a Farmer Klein video. If you don't know who he is, definitely check him out. He does great videos on, like, uh, he just does great videos. And uh, he was doing a first impression on, uh, or first look at uh, Stone Valley by Lancey Boy. And this was, uh, um, uh, before like released for everyone else um but no he was just doing a first look at it and uh someone commented negatively neg ne <laughs> negatively about uh Stone Valley even though in the video it was stated that all the errors would be fixed in like the upcoming upload or update um so uh Lancy boy commented back on that comment and uh, this is after I found out he was retiring, and I went back to that comment and replied on Lancey Boy, and it was really cool because I'd explain to him like, uh, it'd be really cool to see like a, like a map by, 
like uh, around my area and what I grew up in and was like born and raised around like literally I looked it up uh, it's like two hours away from where I currently live so it's basically the same farms that I see but um yeah I basically explained to him like are we gonna see this from Stone Valley or see this on council like even though he retired and he was and he messaged or replied back to me um saying like uh like I have his word that he'll be bringing it to council and I was like uh, uh is is this like f uh serious and like for real and then like a, a couple of days later it was on his Facebook again so that was really awesome to like first hand talk to Lancey boy and like I don't know that's really cool to actually have had a like a couple of comment conversation with them that was really cool oh uh, and yeah. Then another big news is uh, Giant Software is moving to Chicago, and that's going to be hopefully awesome for F FS21 when we do eventually see it, and hopefully they'll um, uh, upgrade, like uh, make everything more diverse. I know uh, even I've said it in the past videos about uh, uh, European configurations but I mean I, I looked back at it this game was originally made overseas and like us Americans we can't get like like bitter that they have uh, a European configurations on everything like they're making this for us and they're slowly stepping into our territory so that's really cool that they're actually um taking a big step and going coming our way since America is one of the largest farming uh, uh, continents I mean it's not just America it's Canada as well and Mexico so I mean North America is like one of the biggest farming continents out there um, so yeah that's really cool that they're slowly taking a step but with this new uh, Bulgur D DLC I, I don't really know the name of it <laughs> or how to pronounce it, but uh, I mean, uh, I wish I would have seen uh, some U.S. configurations on the 9RX, even though I probably won't ever use it, to be honest, because I'm not a big. I mean, I really want the 9R in game. I just not a big fan of the 9RX. I mean, it's just like a spinning image of uh, quad track, in my eyes, just painted green and yellow. <laughs> but um. Uh, but yeah, uh, that DLC was kind of a letdown as well for me. I mean, the the one thing I do love is uh, the cultivator. Finally, we have like a 12 meter cultivator that looks like a real cultivator that you see out in the Midwest. Um, so that was that made me really happy, and uh, I really wanted to see some big planters out here. Um, they've been making, like, big cedars of everything, but, uh, I mean, there has to be big planters, like, that, that's, that's a given, I mean, it might be, uh, I know a corn is only big in the Midwest, um, and this DLC was, uh, Canadian, and I don't know if, uh, Canada... I know I was talking to uh, JP in the comments. He's from Canada, and uh, he's a. Uh, I've been commenting with him a lot, um, and he's from Canada. And I forgot what he said about like if we have the same crops. And I don't think corn is in there, because I, I think corn's just a Midwest thing because of uh, our soil, soil pH and everything, and uh, all that stuff. I'm not. I don't know the whole lot. But, um, if I'm wrong, please correct me, because I would like to know. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, everyone, uh, I'm going to cut this video sh uh, right here today, because it's, uh, 29 minutes and 38 seconds. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy to be making, like, real content for you guys once again. And, um, yeah, we're going to stay away from the trash that I've been, uh, putting out. So, yeah, I'm hoping you guys have a great time watching this. Uh, please let me know how you 
guys liked the video. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe, and please, uh, I really want to know your feedback on how I'm doing. Um, I think this video is a big step up, step up for me, uh, for my last videos. Um, but yeah, let me guys, let me know in the comments, guys. Um, uh, how my farm is, like uh, how my machinery is, um, and the money wise, or the money, what, uh, how much money I have. I'd like to know if that's too much. I'm kind of thinking it's on the steep side. I want to lose at least a mil, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you guys are watching this. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Have a good one, everybody.